I love stayers, I love their qualities. A top stayer needs many attributes, determination, guts, class, and of course stamina. Admirable qualities, I'm sure you'll agree. For much of the last century, the Ascot Gold Cup, run over two and a half miles, was one of the most prestigious races around. It was a natural target for the previous season's St Ledger winner. The longest of the five classics run over an extended one mile six furlongs. We'll be covering both those races later in the series. In those days, winning the Ascot Gold Cup was often seen as the pinnacle of a horse's career. Modern breeding practices dictate this is no longer the case. Most of the top races around the world are run over a mile and a half or less, and horses are bred to excel over those sort of distances. In some countries, distances of a mile and a half are considered a marathon. Nowadays, a ledger winner with one eye on a future career at stud is far, far more likely the following season to drop down distance rather than pursue a cup campaign. Speed is king and stamina is something of a dirty word. Now, this has to be bad for the breed and it has to be bad for the race goer. Generally, a stayer peaks when he reaches maturity, four, five or six. This gives us a chance to see him race for a couple of seasons, to get to know him, to appreciate him. In recent times, thorough stayers like Persian Punch and Double Trigger were hugely popular. They had an almost cult following. Their obvious will to win resonated with the public. So despite the best efforts of some parts of the breeding industry, staying and stayers continue to be popular. We love to see the sheer speed, to admire the sheer pace of a top sprinter, to, to wow at Frankel and other great milers, to, to enjoy the tactics and skills of a top middle distance race. They're all fantastic. We like to see stayers too. We like the see horses running over various distances, displaying their versatility, showing different qualities and attributes. Thankfully, many of the leading owners and trainers support the staying races. Godolphin have had great success with the likes of Kaif Tara and Classic Cliche. Aidan O'Brien has trained five recent winners of the Ascot Gold Cup. Hopefully, these people and others like them will continue their support of staying races. If they do, these sort of races will continue to survive, they, they will thrive. That has to be good, that has to be good for the school. Now let's hear from Sir Henry Cecil on the subject. You've been associated with, a, you know, with great trainers, sorry, great stayers over the years. Do you enjoy training a stayer? I, I, I love it, I love st st you know, staying races. I love the tactics and the, I've always enjoyed training stayers and, and I've been very lucky, you know, I've had, I think, five you know, Gold Cup winners. <laughs> Um, or was it four? No, five. five. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, th I find it more interesting. I don't find the sort of sprints and things that interesting to watch. Is I the like training? Something, something Sorry. Sort of, um, you know, you've got time to mm. sort of assess the tactics and the race and everything rather than jumping. I completely agree with you, personally, just from yeah. watching. I love them, but mm. it are you know, like a human marathon runner has to run, put in loads of miles, you know, before mm. the run. Is it the same with horses? Do you no, have to change their no. routine? I mean, they they all do their conditioning work, but. Horses either stay or they don't stay, yeah. um, and if they stay, the, the main thing is if the stairs, is try and work them the sort of the, I think the, <coughs> the shortest possible distance po you, know, you can because just get them into top gear, uh, uh, trying to get a little bit of speed into them. I mean, it's a horse that wins the Gold Cup. It's a horse that coming into the straight picks up and quickens. Okay, it's not the horse that. Gallops, gallops around in his own pace. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I think they, they either stay or they don't stay. So I mean, I, mean, I don't. I rarely work a <coughs> an Ascot Gold Cup horse, which you know, is two and a half miles over over a mile and a quarter. Very interesting. I mean, what what qualities in general do you admire about stayers? You say you like them. What what is it, what is it you like about them? Well, nothing. I suppose it's a, if a, if a good stayers, they usually stay on, don't they, in mm -hmm. training? You know, it's not like National Hunt when horses are with you for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so many horses retire at three and. And when you've got those good stairs, you know, they, and they come to themselves at four and five, I mean, they become really good friends, you know, and they're, they're sort of part of a family. You know. The others are almost like sort of short term boarders, aren't they? What about coming along? Are there any young Lamosses or Ardrosses or well, well, know, coming through? I mean, at the sales, I did buy a couple of horses. I'm not going to mention the names, but <laughs> what they are. Um, almost with a Gold Cup in mind. Really? I mean, they're going to be staying horses. Uh, 
and they need they'll need quite a lot of time. Uh, they've got plenty of sort of classic winners and ledger winners and st in their pedigree, and they're, they're by good stallions, and, and um, they're going to be sort of three years come four years, I mean, but I just hope I'm going when they come to the, come to their, their best. <laughs>